Hi, welcome to the Daily Insight for Wednesday, December 13th. I pulled two cards for love, two cards for career and finance, and we will follow up with a Romance Angel card. Um, the first card we have for love is the King of Cups followed by the Nine of Wands. So the King of Cups is a person who's grown, okay? This person has matured emotionally. They finally figured out how to open up on all levels where they can give and receive love in equal balance. <clears throat> now the Nine of Wands is a person who's been through a lot and they're weary. They have the strength to move forward. They can keep going, but it's very difficult because taking action on something that is really difficult for you. And when we're looking at love, this could be love with a soulmate. It can be with your partner. It can be a brand new love. Now, what I'm hearing for a group of you, the person you've been dealing with, whether it be your partner whether it be that you actually are with, you're in a real couple, you may live together, you may be married, you've been going through a lot with them. And I mean a lot. And a lot of the responsibilities have been put on you, or at least you feel that they've been put on you, most likely because your partner has been working on trying to open up emotionally. And the beautiful thing about this, on this particular day. And keep in mind, the energies run for the entire week. So if I don't post it the night before, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. This is gonna happen over the period of a week. And this is with all of the, the readings that I'm giving you um, on the dailies, okay? This person's been through a lot. And what, what the Nine of Wands actually is, a person you've been dealing with <clears throat> has opened up. Your partner's opened up emotionally. They're ready to actually put in the effort in the relationship that you've been hoping, wishing, and probably praying for. You're a little weary because of the past, because for this group of you, you've had a wow, a lot of responsibility, okay? You could be dealing with your soulmate in another group of you where your soulmate has really put you through the ringer. They're coming back. The Nine of Wands represents somebody from the past returning. Now this isn't just emotional, just in your head. They're physically going to contact you. They're going to communicate with you. And here's the beautiful thing. Now, some of you this may not apply for, so, you don't need to worry about saying, you know, he, I'm never going to talk to them again. Then this wouldn't be for you. This is the reading for the people that want to work it out with their partner or at least want to get closure on what took place. When we're dealing with people who are not open emotionally and they're literally don't know how to take love, uh, somebody I love dearly did not know how to receive love. So when I would give a gift, they'd give it back. Oh, that's quite insulting, right? And when I would give compliments, they wouldn't know how to take it. They didn't know whether to say, thank you. Uh, usually it was, yeah, no, uh -uh, mm -mm. that's kind of how they, they didn't, they were never taught how to receive love. That's a very difficult thing to do, whether uh, to live with, whether you are living with your partner in a permanent relationship, or if you are dealing with a soulmate that the two of you are apart and they're returning. Now, the beautiful thing is they are coming forward to tell you what has transpired in their life and how much they've grown. For those of you, your partner is actually seeing you the ones in a relationship that this is applicable for, they see how much you've been through. They get it finally. And they're gonna come forward, and this will be over the period of the next week or so, within definitely within this week. They're gonna come forward, they're gonna start off, what I'm seeing is they're gonna start off with a conversation, they're gonna be more open, and it's gonna, might take you by surprise a little bit, okay? 
but you're going to see when they come forward they're going to want to take some of the responsibility off of you some of the initiation i mean this person didn't even initiate um anything physical it was always everything was up to you in this partnership because they did not know how to do it you although weary although tired of taking all the action you've taught them something that they never learned and they're going to share that with you so for those of you this applies for and with your partner then that is an absolutely beautiful thing for those of you in the group where somebody is returning back from the past they want to come forward and show you the brand new them they recognize what took place in the relationship the dysfunctionality between because soulmates have really it, it's a very crazy ride right you guys know that who've been involved with a soulmate um even if you don't want the person back if they have recognized what took place allow them to come forward and speak to you okay because what we do when we shut we will shut down a relationship we don't heal from it i don't want to be with that person that's it and we never have closure so when anybody says that name somebody i know was actually with a person for a number of years that person really and i mean really did a number on them yes it was a soulmate relationship to this day 20 years later when that name is mentioned the person who would have been the weary one um, freaked out hasn't seen that person in 20 years and they freak out over just the mention of the name now that's a person who hasn't healed because there was no closure it there was absolutely no closure it was walked away and left everything on this person so there's a lot of anger there it doesn't mean that you need to actually reconcile. However, through the conversation, you may see that they've grown so much. This is the person you knew they were inside, their soul, because you have that deep connection with them. So I'm going to pull a romance card and see how it ties in with the reading. <clears throat> getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so those of you in a relationship this is what i am talking about they're going to open up emotionally to you they recognize everything for those of you where they're coming back getting to know them and seeing who they are today through their growth through the time apart how much they've grown and boy have they grown from a page to a knight and now they're a king the king is where we want them to be right getting to know each other so you don't need to make a decision at that point in time when they return uh, if you choose not to go forward with them that's your choice but at least get to know who they are today before you make that final decision because for those of you where they're coming back from the past there may not be another opportunity to uh, fix that relationship now for career and finance we have the nine of wands again and we have the ace of cups whenever we have repeat cards there's a definite strong meaning so for those of you in the group where this applies really really you may want to listen to this video again um, but they are coming back they're going to offer you a brand new beginning they want a beginning that's filled with love ace of cups also indicates a second opportunity somebody from the past a possible reconciliation so you've got three cards here indicating that somebody's coming back from the past um, they want to start this new beginning now because of everything you've been through really really get to know them before you answer them that will help you make your decision now when it comes to career and finance some of you are in a situation that is really difficult um, you 
don't like going to work, you, you're having a lot of struggles at work. Now, this could be a Mercury and retrograde situation because a lot of things go haywire. I mean, a lot of things go haywire. Appointments get mixed up. Um, <clears throat> communication gets mixed up. You have about another five weeks, <coughs> excuse me, of time period of, of really weighing this, this is weighing down on you in your work situation. And about another five weeks is what I'm seeing. Once this time passes and you have enough strength to move forward, you can keep doing this. You have about another five weeks. And once that comes rolling around, you have a brand new beginning within the organization that you're in. Meaning, they are going to get somebody else to come in and take some of the load off of you. Uh, the reports, the data, everything that you need to do for the year end is going to come to a completion. Therefore, it's going to open up everything for you. And here's the beautiful part about it. Your company, for this group of you that I'm talking to, that it resonates with you, your company is recognizing all of this effort and hard work that you're putting in, and they are going to reward you in a financial gain as well. So that's actually quite lovely, and five weeks feels like a lot, but it's really, we all know that's not a lot of time. So I do hope this helps you, and I wish you to have a wonderful day. Much love.